I now have a solution that is 0.01 molar in acetic acid and 0.01 molar in sodium acetate. Notice that the pH of this buffer solution is very close to the pH of the 0.1 molar buffer solution. Remember that diluting the buffer does not change the pH of the buffer. I will now add 1 molar HCl to the buffer. Notice that I've added 5 drops of 1 molar HCl. Notice that the pH of the buffer has dropped very rapidly. The two buffers have the same initial pH, but the 0.01 molar buffer has a much lower buffer capacity. It will not neutralize nearly as much added acid or base. It only takes 5 drops of the 1 molar HCl solution to destroy the buffer. I have a new sample of the 0.01 molar acetic acid 0.01 molar sodium acetate buffer mixture. I'm now going to add 1 molar sodium hydroxide to the solution. I've added 5 drops of the 1 molar sodium hydroxide. Notice that the pH of the solution has risen rapidly. Again, the buffer capacity of the more dilute buffer solution is a lot lower. After adding 10 drops of the 1 molar sodium hydroxide, we have completely destroyed the buffer and the pH has risen very rapidly.